All right, so let's, let me show you now how we do step three using the same examples I showed you before, how you write the claim from words into math. So I did problem number 25, number 28, and 30. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to draw the picture step three of uh, the hypothesis testing process. And basically what you do is the following. In step number three, you're just drawing the bell-shaped curve like I'm doing right now. And you're going to decide which tail you're going to shade. Sometimes you shade only one tail, the left, the right, or the right. Or sometimes you shade both tails. Okay, and who decide that? The one that decide that is always H1 or HA. It all depends on what label is used. Okay, H1 or HA is the one that decide the shade, uh, which tail you're going to shade. And just look at the symbol here, the inequality symbol that was used in that claim. Here, I have a greater than. That means I'm shading the right tail. So I'm just going to put a mark. And I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna shade that little part of the graph, the tail, the right tail of the graph. That's it. That's all what you have to do. For example, if I do number 28, when I draw the bell shaped curve, okay, so here's my bell shaped curve, and I look at H1. Okay, H1 has a less than, which means that I'm going to be shading the left tail. So I just put a mark and I shade that tail to the left of the mark that I put there. That's all what you have to do. If I do problem number 30, okay, when I draw my bell shape curve, once again, I'm going to look at H1. And I see I have a not equal. It means that I'm shading both tails. I'm shading the left tail and I'm shading the right tail. Okay, so H1 or HA is the one that decides which tail in the picture you're going to shade. When you have a greater than right tail, when you have a less than left tail, and when you have a not equal, you're going to shade both tails. All right, I hope this helps.